Okay, page 21. And uh, Tony was just saying about, about the storm, that it's ahead of us. Bill's just asked me if I'm trying to teach this constellation to dance the cha-cha. So we we'll begin with Tony making a joke. Morley Clifford sank back into his seat automatically, buckling his safety belt and clipping on his earphones whilst his steely eyes flashed swiftly from the scanner's bowl to a barometer, to a barometer on the dashboard, flashing, and then onto the electronic Decker flight log, tilting down at a convenient angle from the cockpit's roof, upon which a pen was accurately plotting the course upon a gridded map. Is somebody writing on the map above him? And then he's looking at this and then he's looking at this. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yep, not so hot, eh, Tony, he said. It's coming at us from all directions and the bottom's falling out of the barometer. Barometers. You don't see barometers nowadays, do you? My auntie had a barometer, anyway. And um, yes, it looks as if we're for it. All the dodging in the world won't miss this little lot. We'll just have to sit tight and hope that we strike a corridor through these cirrostrata storm clouds. As the wind is circling around us at about 150 miles per hour over a storm area, probably 500 miles wide, it'll just be a question of luck. All the facts, bring me all your facts, Captain Clifford. Tony's hand rose instinctively to the little bulge Leave it in his top pocket, top pocket, top pocket. It's the teddy. And it's Friday the 13th, hang it, he muttered, sorry. And it's Friday the 13th, hang it. He muttered under his breath, Teddy, my boy, do your stuff. Over to you, over. He's, he's, <laughs> he's handing over to his lucky teddy. I feel completely safe in the hands of these people. Captain Clifford, lifting his eyes from a forest of faultlessly working instruments to scan the unfriendly skies, saw the action and with a half smile relieving the tension of tautly stretched lips, can't really do that, nodded his head as if in agreement, as if in agreement, but he, he wasn't really happy with the handing over to the teddy, but oh yeah, go for it, go for it Tony. Then he leaned forward to press down a small switch on the instrument board, click. In the cabin, a sign above the flight deck door winked, winked into red lettered life. And then it's in capital letters. Fasten safety belts, no smoking, please. Oh, that was the sign. That was the sign for Shirley to stop, to belt in the passengers and stop them from panicking. Uh, also young people, as well as barometers, you used to be able to smoke on planes. This is absolutely true. Thank you.